let's talk about something that might be familiar to many of you. Have you or someone you know faced unexpected difficulties during pregnancy? Life can be unpredictable, and one of those challenges could be a miscarriage. Have you thought about the struggles people go through during such moments? How did they handle it, and what kind of support mattered the most? Share your thoughts and let's discuss this together, creating a space for understanding and kindness. Have you ever been through a tough time and felt better by sharing your story? We're here to listen. Nicole, a famous actress, was super excited when she learned she was going to have a baby during a TV interview. She and her husband had been waiting for more than five years for this amazing news, so you can imagine the happiness. But as time passed, around the end of the first three months of being pregnant, Nicole started feeling a pain in her belly. It wasn't just any pain, it got worse over time. And then, she noticed bleeding, which made her really worried. Imagine the fear and concern she must have felt. So, Nicole hurried to the hospital. There, she met a kind and experienced doctor, someone who helps women with these kinds of problems. The doctor took a good look at Nicole, and it was not the news anyone was hoping for, Nicole had a miscarriage. That means she lost the baby she was so looking forward to holding in her arms. The doctor, understanding how tough this news is, spoke to Nicole with kindness. She explained things really carefully, like a comforting friend. Nicole wasn't alone, the doctor promised to be there for her through this really hard time. It's like having a supportive hand to hold on to when everything feels uncertain and sad. She asked, Doctor, what is a miscarriage? A miscarriage, also called a spontaneous abortion, is the unexpected ending of a pregnancy in the first 20 weeks of gestation. Just because it's called a miscarriage doesn't mean you did something wrong in carrying the pregnancy. Most miscarriages are beyond your control and occur because the fetus stops growing. Doctor can you explain, how many types of miscarriage missed miscarriage, you've lost the pregnancy but are unaware it's happened? There are no symptoms of miscarriage, but an ultrasound confirms the fetus has no heartbeat. Complete miscarriage, you've lost the pregnancy and your uterus is empty. You've experienced bleeding and past fetal tissue. Your provider can confirm a complete miscarriage with an ultrasound. Recurrent miscarriage, three consecutive miscarriages. It affects about 1% of couples. Threatened miscarriage, your cervix stays closed, but you're bleeding and experiencing pelvic cramping. The pregnancy typically continues with no further issues. Your pregnancy care provider may monitor you more closely for the rest of your pregnancy. Inevitable miscarriage, your bleeding, cramping and your cervix has started to open, dilate. You may leak amniotic fluid. A complete miscarriage is likely. Doctor, how do I know if I'm having a miscarriage? You may not be aware you're having a miscarriage. In people who have symptoms of a miscarriage, the most common signs are bleeding that progresses from light to heavy. You may also pass grayish tissue or blood clots. Cramps and abdominal pain, usually worse than menstrual cramps. Low back ache that may range from mild to severe. A decrease in pregnancy symptoms. Contact your pregnancy care provider right away if you're experiencing any of these symptoms. They will tell you to come into the office or go to the emergency room. Doctor, is it my fault? What causes miscarriage? No, it is not your fault. Chromosomal abnormalities cause about 50% of all miscarriages in the first trimester, up to 13 weeks, of pregnancy. Chromosomes are tiny structures inside the cells of your body that carry your genes. Genes determine all of a person's physical attributes, such as assigned sex, hair and eye color and blood type. During fertilization, when the egg and sperm join, two sets of chromosomes come together. If an egg or sperm has more or fewer chromosomes than normal, the fetus will have an abnormal number. As a fertilized egg grows into a fetus, its cells divide and multiply several times. Abnormalities during this process also leads to miscarriage. Most chromosomal problems occur by chance. It's not completely known why this happens. Several factors may cause miscarriage, infection, exposure to torch diseases, Hormonal imbalances Improper implantation of fertilized egg in your uterine lining How old you are Your age uterine abnormalities 
incompetent cervix, your cervix begins to open too early in pregnancy. Lifestyle factors such as smoking, drinking alcohol, or using recreational drugs. Disorders of the immune system like lupus. Severe kidney disease. Congenital heart disease. Diabetes that isn't managed. Thyroid disease. Radiation. Certain medicines, such as the acne drug isotretinoin and severe malnutrition. There's no scientific proof that stress, exercise, sexual activity, or prolonged use of birth control pills cause miscarriage. Whatever your situation is, it's important to not blame yourself for having a miscarriage. Most miscarriages have nothing to do with something you did or didn't do. Doctor, how painful is a miscarriage? Miscarriages are different for every person. Some people have painful cramping, while other people have cramps similar to their menstrual period. The type of miscarriage you have may also affect your pain level. For example, if you have a complete miscarriage at home, you may have more pain than a person who has a missed miscarriage and has a surgical procedure to remove the pregnancy. Doctor, what happens first during a miscarriage? It's hard to say what happens first during a miscarriage because everyone's symptoms are different. Sometimes there are no signs of miscarriage, and you find out at a prenatal ultrasound that you've lost the pregnancy. Most people will experience some degree of cramping and bleeding, but what happens first varies. Doctor, how long does a miscarriage take? It depends. Some people have painful cramping and heavy bleeding longer than others. Your pregnancy care provider can tell you what to expect and give you advice on how to manage pain and cramps during your miscarriage. Doctor, what are the risk factors for a miscarriage? A risk factor is a trait or behavior that increases a person's chance of developing a disease or condition. Risk factors for miscarriage include, your age, studies show that the risk of miscarriage is 12% to 15% for people in their 20s and rises to about 25% for people by age 40. Most age-related miscarriages happen because of a chromosomal abnormality, the fetus has missing or extra chromosomes. Previous miscarriage, you have a 25% chance of having another miscarriage, only slightly higher than someone who hasn't had a miscarriage, if you've already had one. Health conditions, certain health conditions like unmanaged diabetes, infections or issues with your uterus or cervix increase your chance of miscarriage. They can discuss your risk after they've reviewed your medical history. Doctor, how many people have miscarriages? Between 10% and 20% of all known pregnancies end in miscarriage. Most miscarriages, 80%, happen within the first three months of pregnancy, up to 13 weeks of pregnancy. Less than 5% of miscarriages occur after 20 weeks gestation. The rate of miscarriage may be higher if you consider miscarriages that happen shortly after implantation. A person may not realize they're pregnant because bleeding happens around the time of their menstrual period. This is called a chemical pregnancy. Doctor, what is my risk of miscarriage by week? Your risk of pregnancy loss declines each week you're pregnant. Around 15% of pregnancies end in miscarriage. Miscarriage risk in the second trimester, 13 to 19 weeks, is between 1% and 5%. Many factors affect your risk of miscarriage such as your age and health. However, everyone's risk of miscarriage declines each week of pregnancy if the pregnant person has no other health conditions. Doctor, how is a miscarriage diagnosed? Your pregnancy care provider will perform an ultrasound test to confirm a miscarriage. These tests check for fetal heartbeat or the presence of a yolk sac, one of the first fetal structures your provider can see on ultrasound. You may also have a blood test to measure human chorionic gonadotropin, HCG, a hormone produced by the placenta. A low HCG level can confirm a miscarriage. Finally, your provider may perform a pelvic exam to check if your cervix has opened.